New information tonight about the Zika virus in your health news tonight. 30 babies in Connecticut are being closely watched because their moms tested positive for Zika while they were pregnant. And the Department of Public Health also watching nine women with Zika who are pregnant right now. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Mehmet to hear now to explain what this all means. Jocelyn? Darren and Ann, DPH commissioner says it means that we have to be cautious and alert. Our state has been proactive when it comes to testing and monitoring the Zika virus. There has been no local transmission, but right now a total of 43 women testing positive for Zika or a related virus are on that tracking list. Two have given birth with Zika-related birth defects. Outbreak of Zika has countries vigilant for the virus, linked to severe birth defects. Women testing positive for Zika or a related virus in Connecticut are being monitored by the Connecticut Department of Public Health. All the cases associated with traveling to other countries. Zika is here to stay. Commissioner Dr. Raul Pino says of the 30 babies born, two are linked to Zika. Nine others are borderline at birth and are being watched closely. Some of these babies do have microcephaly or we are suspecting microcephaly. Nine births are pending. Dr. Pino urging hospitals and primary care providers to continue assessing travel history and testing for Zika. Within hours, we will know if a baby has been born and diagnosed with a defect. The numbers are relatively low compared to the rest of the country. For us, it's more about being alert and, and being on prevent a mode and be alert that when you're traveling south. For women planning on getting pregnant, avoid areas affected by Zika prior to trying to conceive. The recommendation from the CDC is six months, but that's a decision for the mother in consultation with the provider. The women were exposed to Zika mostly while in the Caribbean. That list includes Jamaica, Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico. Dr. Pino says babies with Zika-related birth defects will be referred to the Connecticut Birth to Three program. Darren?